Right, these are the solar cell pieces, which um, would normally cost about $300 US each. They're high efficiency um, cells for, the, for satellite use, uh, but thanks to, uh, to eBay, we've got to just over 200 for $850. US. Right, and this is the, um, this is the plate uh, that we're going to use for um, attaching the, the cells into strings. They go in, in series strings, and um, I'll show you how they um, fit together now. Okay. So the cell, um, this is the, the cell plate, which as you can see has got some grooves uh, machined out of it, made up of aluminium. The reason for the grooves are, the, on the cells themselves, there is a tiny curl, which is very difficult to see, which allows them to, to move slightly with temperature. Right. right, and to show how this works, we'll put one cell in there, and we will drop the one that's going to go alongside it there, and as you can see, they're a millimetre apart and the tabs that will solder the two together are there. Okay, rather than use the, uh, the cell pieces that I've just shown, um, for this demonstration what I've done is to make up some small pieces of uh, aluminium plate exactly the same size with um, the curl on the side and we'll use those to show you how to do it. Okay. So there we are, we'll put one piece down and one alongside it and uh, instead of soldering the two together, which one would do normally to, to give electrical uh, um, uh, conduction through the, the pieces, um, what we'll use is some tape to hold them together. There we are. We will put those down as hinges. One there. And one there. So we have the two effectively now hinged together. For demonstration purposes, we've now got these pseudo cells, which um, are um, very cheap and cheerful. Um, and I'll show you now one of the panels, which in fact will, will fly uh, on the satellite. Um, and as you can see, it's made on um, a printed circuit board, FR4. Um, and there are various areas on it that are uh, masked off with um, the uh, capped on tape that um, we can't afford to, um, to short across. And on the underside, you can see there is a 7 foul uh, thick foil, aluminium foil, which will um, carry the heat away from the centre of the board into the screws around the edge, which of course is part of the space frame. I'll now take this away and put that safely out of the way as I did with the cells, and we will use this to demonstrate further. This is a, this is a US um, uh, item which in fact um, will, not, uh, will not fly. We'll use, we'll use this board um, as, the, uh, as the demo and the object of the exercise now is to put these six pairs of cells down in the right place so that they line up with the various tracks so that we can solder them all together. Um, and that is of course the uh, the problem of getting them in the right, exactly the right sort of place, bearing in mind there will be glue underneath them, a very thin layer of glue underneath each one, and um, we can't afford to put our fingers anywhere actually on the boards, um, so that is the problem that we will now address. First of all we need to, um, we need to put on some pads of glue, adhesive, in the right place on the board, uh, and I'll show you how we plan to do this. There's a full scale sketch done with uh, a CAD program and as you can see there are marks on the side here where the tape permit will actually cross so we'll take it from there. And the last one This is the um, this is a special uh, low outgassing adhesive made um, uh, for this very purpose. Um, and that little pot, which is about uh, half full, was something like 150 US dollars. Well, um, that we will actually apply uh, using this. Um, as you can see, there's just a, a piece of perspex which has been uh, cut off accurately uh, on the on the end, and that will be used as a spatula. Um, so we put a dollop of glue in the middle, and we then work it back and forth until it fills that and that gives us in fact a six thousandth of an inch thick glue uh, pad on each one of each one of those. 
Because the tape is six thou one. Which is what's required. Six so thou tape. That's right, six thou tape. Now we've, we've got that, and uh, now if you can visualise it, we end up with a pad of glue. There, 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 and there. Um, and there'll probably be glue over the side of this, but it doesn't matter, because the next thing we do is to just catch hold of this and pull it off. Those, if you can imagine it, we've got six pads, very accurately positioned, very thin uh, glue sitting on the board. We've now got to end up with these pieces accurately positioned on it. To get them in exactly the right place, this uh, is, the, is the item that we're going to use. There are a number of very small pins, which you can, you can see there, and these all sit in the holes. They go through the, through the plate, and they rest, in fact, on this um, foam at the back, and as you can see, they are proud until you touch them, and they then will sink down. Okay, these, these pins are, are um, merely machined out of um, aluminium, uh, aluminium rod, um, they're all identical, and they're just um, um, with a little pip on the bottom there, which um, comes when you, you part it off, um, which does nicely push it into the uh, into the foam. We have a full a full load of pins. Okay, we'll, we'll now load up the uh, load up the pin plate. As you can see, they're all all now in position and these sit in between the pins like that not resting on them but they're now accurately located using the pins which as you can see are still <laughs> still in position <laughs> steady steady them up there we are okay so now we line those, line those up, and right. And what we do is we put in these two longer pins, um, which are in fact locator pins. And here we've got a, a, a mylar sheet which is cut out, which clears the little curls, which of course now are on the top, um, and also um, it allows us to put a securing tape over the top. So we're using those locating pins there and there. We will drop that on, and as you can see, you can push the mylar down because all these little pins will in fact disappear into the uh, into the foam, but they still hold the cells steady. Oh, okay, keep going. So the mylar sheet is now down on the cells themselves, and as you can see, there is a hole in the centre of each of the cell pieces. So what we'll do is, is we will put some tape right across the middle, like so, pressing down into the holes. Okay, and the last one will sit down in there, 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 and there, and snip that off. Mm -hmm. So what we do now is we lift the whole, the whole thing off its pins, like so, and we have them all accurately positioned on the mylar sheet. Okay, that's it. So that's now finished with. Okay, we then um, this, we introduce this one. Right, we now go on to the assembly plate, which is, as you can see, is a, is a different one. And we will use the board that is not going to be flown, but we'll just give you an idea. And what we do is we drop that now onto the pads of glue which we'll explain on one or the other. Like so, which will be underneath and we just lift off. Right. That's it. Okay.
three and we lift off the mylar and bingo. To make sure that they don't um, they don't move, there's a suggestion that um, it should be put into a vacuum bag and the whole thing pulled down. I prefer this approach, which is slightly slightly different. And we will put on these blocks, which in fact are produced to weigh the same. And I'm jogging and bear in mind they will be stuck down next time. There is a certain amount of adhesion. And these blocks will give us the necessary pressure without um, uh, the possibility of, of, the, um, um, of the, the bag moving, a vacuum bag moving. And there we have it.